I am a spiteful man. There is nothing better in this world than getting revenge. Now you may be thinking, whoa, that's, that's a little, uh, that's a little extreme. Are you okay? I think you need to see a therapist. And to that I say, no, I am not okay. But, and also therapists are expensive. So we're going to do the second best option. Souls-like games. Now if you're in the video game scene, I'm pretty sure you know what a, a Souls-like game is. Every gamer and their grandma talks about how difficult and how rewarding overcoming the challenge of the boss fights are in this game. But I'd argue that most of the satisfaction of the boss fights comes from fucking killing the person who did you wrong. Now that sounds a little psychotic and I'm, I, mean, I mean this only in video games of course, not, definitely, no, not in real life. Let me explain further. You know, say you're playing an online video game with the homies, right? You're, you're having a good time, you're chilling, and then fucking Chad Sweatsworth comes over, shoots you in your fucking skull, blows your brains out, and then proceeds to s drag his fucking sweaty balls all over your face, your dead, rotting fucking corpse. He's just, just smacking his balls on your face. I don't know about you, but I don't take kindly to that disrespect. At that point, I am only seeing red, and I will do everything in my power to hunt down Chad Sweatsworth in the lobby, and completely and utterly annihilate and obliterate every atom of his existence, to the point where there's not even a single speck of him left for me to drag my nuts across. But instead of Chad Sweatsworth, it's that one boss that's been giving you shit for the past few hours. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you, Tree Sentinel, and Godric the Grafted. Was I way under level to fight either of you guys? Yes, I was. But did it feel good to dick slap your corpse after you mutilated me for like an hour straight? Yes, it did feel good. But you know what feels even better? Your mama's mouth, bitch! In the early game, it feels like your character has paper skin and glass bones. Everyone knows that playing these kind of games without the appropriate levels is the equivalent of getting your shit ran by Batman. Except unlike Batman, after giving you severe brain damage, they'll finish the job and kill you. But once you get a few levels and you, you know, you start doing the boss run a few times, you start getting a grasp on what you need to do. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, for the most part. You, you we, we don't, we don't talk about this one. Let's take Elden Ring for example, cause it's fresh in my mind, I've been playing it recently. When I went to one of these dungeons, very early on in the game, I was getting my shit ran by these goddamn imps. In retrospect, you know, they're not really that hard to deal with but they're just so fucking annoying, I just want to strangle them. I'll never forget how they violated me in that one dungeon. Those imps made the boss run harder than the actual boss fight itself. And that's why every time I kill one of them, I get a dopamine rush. I just love backstabbing them and their little gamer back. They literally have gamer posture. I fucking hate not only that, but they they, they just hide everywhere. They're like on the ceilings, they're on they're on the walls, they pretend to be statues, they're they're just they're in the fucking every inch of your ass crack, bro, they're everywhere. And they ambush you too. And they inflict bleed. I just I fucking hate But I got stronger, smarter, and I adapted. This newfound power, this newfound confidence, it made me feel like I could take on anything. But then the imps reminded me why I hated them so much in the first place. So in this clip, I'm trying to get to Moog the Omen. At this point, I've died to fall damage twice, so I'm like, I just want to get to the boss as fast as possible. So I'm just running past all these dumbass imps. That guy gets a cheap shot in. Gets another cheap shot in. I land, I get a fucking knife thrown at me. I get smacked again. At this point, I'm annoyed, so I take my anger out on this guy. I killed this guy's friend. He tries to take my head clean off, but he misses like a loser. Get fucking hit again. This guy comes out of nowhere and starts swinging. I can't- I can't more cheap shots in the back. I'm quite literally taking back shots from these imps. Now that I'm in a decent fighting area, I decide to make my anime stand. I get my shit ran for some reason because I'm stupid. I hit the fucking wall like an idiot. I'm able to take down two imps. I think I have a moment of rest, but then this fucking giant fat motherfucker Chungus dude starts climbing up the goddamn ladder. At this point I'm like... I'm like, I'm so livid right now. I'm like, why is this fat fuck climbing the ladder? I start panic rolling. I get the stagger mis-input by me. I accidentally use my Ash of War. 
I get fucking smacked. I'm like, holy shit, am I actually gonna die here? Oh my god, I'm actually able to kill him. Look at my fucking health. At this point, I'm taking a deep breath. I'm like, holy shit, that was retarded. And then I hear them swinging. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Give me like five seconds to breathe, goddammit. These, these little midget motherfuckers really waited for that fat dude to ambush me before they started attacking. I can't believe it. I can't believe these guys. I fucking hate the imps. I'm fully expecting this imp to climb back up, but I guess his tiny little imp brain can't process the ability to climb a ladder. It's like that anime Goblin Slayer. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Like these, these goblins, no one takes them seriously, but once they gang up together, they become little war criminals and they start committing atrocities. Oh! She on her team for shit right now! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh baby! Oh we have to watch the rest of this! No nigga! No nigga! Goblin Slayer never underestimates his enemies, even if they're just a lowly tiny little goblin. Similarly to how in Souls games, you should never underestimate your enemies. Even if they're just a trash mob, like a bastard little imp. Because you know what they can do firsthand when you are a low level scrub. You take away a very valuable lesson from this experience because you gain all this power throughout the game and it starts getting to your head. And then you get your, you almost get your shit ran by fucking trash mobs. And then you're like, wait a minute, I need to stay humble. I need to remember where I came from. You know, these trash mobs back in the day when I was under leveled and didn't know the area very well, they were running my shit really easily. And, and now that I'm like, now that I'm more powerful, you know, I need to go, when I go back, I need to show my respect to them. Hey! And you know, despite all of this character development, Sometimes I just like being a scumbag. Sometimes it's fun. Why, yes, I did use Firestorm in Demon Souls. That shit is broken. And sometimes I use summons for the bosses because I just like watching them get the shit kicked out of them. And yeah, I cheesed Radon. Could I have actually beat him legitimately? Yes. Did I want to though? No, not really. Was it funny riding around a horse and watching like eight people gang up on him and beat the shit out of him? Yeah. And you may be saying, well, that wasn't earned. How can you feel rewarded for doing something that wasn't earned? See, the thing is, you can play the game however you want. You can make it easier or harder for yourself, and it's all dependent on your build and what strats you want to do. Each player can play how they want and set their own goals. What you find as gratifying might be tedious to someone else. See, the beauty is I can tackle these enemies however I want. Sometimes I don't feel like trying, so why not make it easier? Why make things harder? What am I, a woman in the dating scene? Thank you, thank you. Hold your applause, hold your applause, thank you. Cheesing is a valid strat, because honestly, the game cheats back. Hey look, the bat's stuck up there, on an invisible wall. Wow, it's almost as if he's gonna fly right past it as soon as I touch the ladder. Oh boy, I sure hope he doesn't try to smack me when I climb up. You motherfucker. Oh yeah, now that makes sense. I fucking hate this game. Really, Nick? <laughs> oh, please, no. Now it's just you and me. Time for the final strike. Die, you bastard! <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Not to mention this enemy literally phasing through the tarp just to smack me in the face. <laughs> Bro literally pressed V in Gmod, like wh what is this? And I know some of you FromSoft sexuals down there in the comment section are gonna be like, well you, you can't use summons, you can't use broken spells, you can't use glitches, you can't use strong weapons, you can't overlevel, fuck you man, I'll, I'm a, I'll do what I want. Like this one comment 
telling me how to edit my videos. Hey, get some constructive criticism, please stop. Motherfucker, this is my channel. I can edit the videos however I want to. I can put a fucking cat dancing for no reason at all. I can make it even larger just because I want to. This is my channel. So if you're gonna come over here and tell me how to play a game that I purchased that has mechanics put in place that you can use or glitches that they didn't patch, I'll do whatever I want. I bought the game. Uh, what's next? You're gonna go into my closet and be like, um, uh, why are you folding your shirts like this? This is this is not how they fold the shirts over at Target. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. And before you guys say, um, well, get good. First of all, it's a single player game. I have nothing to prove. I'm just having fun. Second of all, how about you get good at getting some bitches? You maidenless fuck.